trying to find another driveway. I'm not, I'm really not think, I'm really not trying to go to an RV park. I'm not going to pay 400, 500 bucks a month to rent a pad in an RV park. Um, the most I will do if I'm not going to boondock is I'll pay $100 for a drive. And even then, that seems like a ripoff to me because I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to spend more than 30% of my time there at that driveway. You know, but it's like peace of mind. It's like, just gives you this security of having an address, basically. You know, so there's something happens, you know, if you're sitting at Walmart or something and, and the Walmart manager, you know, and the cops show up at your window at the same time and say, oh, you know, you you can't be here. You have nowhere else to go. And I'm exhausted. And I, you know, I, I really just don't know where else to park. It's nice to know you, that you still have a driveway that you, you've paid, that you actually have a contract with the homeowner or whatever, and it says you're allowed to park your vehicle. And plus, it doesn't look like you're living in it. You, know, you park an RV in somebody's driveway. Well, as long as you don't have all the water hookups and all the sewer stuff hooked up, you know, you just have your, your power cord hooked up, lines are down, it doesn't look like anybody's living in it. It could just be, you know, they have their RV and they're, they're keeping it warm in the winter. They have to run a cord out there to run the heater. You know? That, you know, I, I just don't... Why are you cutting me off? Cut back? It's, if it's power that you need to charge your battery, you know, yeah, you can go to some of these state and city parks that have the rotundas and the little kitchens at the parks, and you can plug your power into that, but, you know, people hate it because then you take up all this spot where they could be having food, you're just, you get your RV parked there, but, you know, I don't really care about that. What I care about the generator idea, you just, you don't want to run the generator when you're, when you're parked in parking lots, but the dead giveaway that you're living in your RV is just a Obviously, they're living in why? Why? You know, they're running their generator for power and electricity and everything. It's like I just don't like to put myself out like that, especially at Walmart. You know, you get the associates that come outside and they hear that, and it's like you're taking advantage of it. You know, it's like yeah, you're. It's like you're flaunting that you're living in your RV for free on their property. So what I'm flaunting is <coughs> this guy. That's I did that one time, I forgot the fucking cords. So. Try that. <sighs> that was easy. Cool thing about that thing already being in so many times, it's just like, they just look me up real quick, give me 60 bucks, and give me a new slip. And we have till March 13th. $60 at 20.25 uh, finance charge. Oh. So it's all this stuff, they raised it, what the hell? 80.25 to get it back. Okay, so they make $20 on me, but you know what? I get the money. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Now, got 60 bucks, let's go find a hooker. <laughs> 